Gaffer, um, we have to start with the, with the penalty, with the penalty decision. We're probably not getting much luck with penalties at the moment. From first year, it looked like Baba got the ball, and the challenge could have possibly been outside the box as well. But what was your thoughts on the penalty decision? Um, I've only seen one angle. Um, yeah, I'm not sure he won the ball, but I just, uh, yeah, I just don't think it was a foul. Um, that sort of just started the started the match that unfolded really. Um, after that, actually, the reaction of the team was good. Um, but yeah, at the moment, I really well. The good thing is, is that the course I've been here, however, however long that is now, eight or uh, eight months or so, I've been pretty consistent. The way I speak about referees, I'm not one to complain. Today, today felt like a game that just um, referee had a big impact on it. Um, and unfortunately for us, it was a big negative, and just makes you. I just feel for the support that travelled down here. What I would say to the support, and I'm sure we'll get onto the referee again, but I had a team there that gave absolutely everything to try and get something from this game, and um, it was an extremely difficult game, and not really between both teams. Talk about the fans. I think they were quite surprised to see Callum given that second yellow as well for the red card and, and that completely changes the game doesn't it? Yeah it changed the dynamic I think it's just a, a ridiculous decision um, to give him a second yellow for that um, yeah the referee had a uh, had a very difficult game that's me being kind I'm a young manager I've played for a long period of time going a goal down and a man down I suppose in terms of the balance does it make it difficult to to try and open up to get the equaliser? But obviously you don't. You want to stay in the game as long as you can with ten men, don't you? Yeah. At that point, uh, when it happened, uh, we basically tried to get to half time um, and then be a bit more. Yeah, it's that balance. You have to stay in the game, uh, but still put attacking players on the pitch. We knew we would get a chance, two chances, and we did in the end. And um, we didn't manage to take it, but. Um, it wasn't a game, you look at the amount of cards that were there, it wasn't an aggressive game, um, wasn't a really um, overly physical. There was a lot of yellow cards um, from very early on. It sort of set the precedent and in the end, a, a many, uh, many, many yellow cards, I think eight for us. So it was, um, yeah, it's heartbreaking really. Look, we're trying extremely hard to, to get points on the board, win again. And yeah, I feel, uh, I feel, I feel sorry for the sport that came, paid and watched us and travelled down. And um, the only thing I can give uh, the fans on, on the journey back is every single player that stepped on the pitch, staff as well at times, they were fighting for uh, for our club. Second half, you made a number of changes and they made a big difference. You know, Josh came on, got the nod on for, for Marshall and had a couple of chances. And then Josh himself had a chance quite late on as well. We, we could have perhaps deserved them, maybe nicked some points towards the end. Yeah, there was, uh, I think once the sending off, uh, uh, happened. Uh, there was very little in the game. When you come when you come to the stadium, the way they play and they're very good at it is uh, you can never rest for one minute with um, a longer pass than any second sort of or bouncing ball. They'll, they'll put it back in your box. So they're very good at that. Um, but actually, after they'd scored, it settled the game down, started to get more control, and then it just turned into a massive fight uh, for us. Extremely hard work for all our players when you're man down. At the moment, yeah, we're having a tough run with some decisions, but uh, what can you do? They're done. Um, when they happen to you, you fight like hell to try and get the team back into it, and today we did. Just a quick line, three game, you opted for Humphreys to lead the line. Is yeah. that something that you saw in terms of the opposition and how you could hurt them? Yeah, no, exactly that. So uh, the way that this game, uh, and it went for the first 30 odd minutes, uh, I still needed us to play. Pitch is very sticky and dry, and um, yeah, we knew if we tried to play through the middle of them that they would hurt us. And um, I needed speed on that last line, and um, yeah, that's why we went with the aggressive lineup. Tello was the same. Um, yeah, that was my think, my thinking. Obviously, the AFL trophy on Tuesday, but does the international break give us a bit of a chance to freshen up and I suppose refresh the mindset and go again? No, we go Tuesday. Uh, I want to win Tuesday. I want to try and win as quickly as we can. Um, the last three games have felt different, so it's uh, than Bristol. Bristol was a, a really, really disappointing day. Uh, Portsmouth, uh, Burton, and today are very different. The games of football we could have won, um, but different circumstances we could have done. But um, now the performances have been okay at times. Today, today was as good as we played uh, in terms of a real fighting spirit for our team.
when you lose a man down in a place like this, then it becomes a big fight. And I have to say, I know it's a long way back for our fans, but our team gave absolutely everything for them. They clapped them off there again. They clapped me. I'm trying desperately for us to win more games and um, it will come. Uh, but yeah, it's a couple of steps forward. It feels like a few back at the minute.